Well, hi there. This is Ron Rogers, and I am coming in to the Antique Airplane Association fly-in on August 27th, 2024. Now, um, it's a very interesting place to come into. We, I flew in here with a friend 53 years ago before GPS existed, and we actually found the place because it's kind of uh, out of the way. You really kind of got to know what to look for. And it's, uh, it's near Blakesburg, Iowa, but it, it's still in the country, and uh, it, it, you can kind of see some of the red roofs there off to the left. But, uh, uh, and I'm going to uh, put uh, Brent Taylor's arrival briefing on how you fly uh, in here, uh, which is quite interesting. I'm going to post that um, in, uh, in a later video, but basically you come in at 2,000 feet MSL and you kind of look things over because uh, there's no Unicom, there's no radio communication specified, so it's all visual. A lot of old airplanes without even any radio systems. And there's the airfield down there to the left, and uh, there's a guy with two flags, a red flag and a green flag, and you can probably uh, figure out which flag is uh, which and which is the best one to uh, see and uh, basically you clear the pattern visually and uh, uh, once it's kind of clear uh, then you can descend to pattern altitude and come on in and basically you come on around the pattern and there's a wind tee down there uh, which is an old uh, aircraft and uh, they've got and they, they actually uh, it's kind of you know big so they swing it around physically uh, so you can see which runway they're using and and um, I've uh, for the last two times landed to the south I actually took off to the north when I la la uh, left which is unusual but anyway I'm coming around the turn here and there's a lot of trees kind of obscuring things so that gets interesting uh, and it's an uphill slope the first part of runway 18 which is a bit of a challenge too you know uh, perspective wise but anyway uh, basically uh, you come around and you look for the guy out there uh, they're very alert so they'll see you and uh, you look for the uh, the nice green flag uh, which I'm getting there you can see off to the side and you come in and land and it's a very nice grant uh, grass strip uh, Brent Taylor and his dad before them uh, and uh, I have a video uh, interviewing Brent going over the history of AAA. Uh, not that AAA, it's the other AAA, and it's not AA, that's different too. Uh, it would definitely not be an AA place here in the evening. They have a very nice pilot bar, very nice pilot bar, and a lot of fun in there. Anyway, this is old airplanes, uh, old pilots, a lot of great stories. Um, uh, the uh, and this first evening, yeah, we had a lot of great stories that I, d I didn't record, but that's all right. I would have had to edit so much out of them doing to things called libel laws and things like that. But uh, a lot of history, a, lo a lot of really neat history with uh, both the planes and the pilots. And this year they were having a big uh, steerman um, association kind of group, not not steermen as such, but they were featuring steermen. Uh, and you'll see these on the left as we go by. And then they uh, direct me into parking. Last year I got a real nice upfront parking spot, but I guess, uh, um, you know, after the first year, the uh, shine's off the pumpkin, so I got uh, parked a little farther out, but it's still fine and fun, of course. Um, but anyway, just a, uh, a, a great time, a great group of people, a lot of fun. And uh, if you watch the other videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. How was your trip? That was good. Good. Yep, yep. Not bad at all. Yeah. Bumpy at all? Little. Yeah. Little. You I know, would assume it probably is with, the way yeah. it's, with as warm as it's getting. Exactly, yeah. It would have been a whole lot worse yesterday. Uh, <laughs> it was nasty yesterday. Was it? Well, I, oh, man. Yeah, I flew up to Dacey yesterday. Did and it, Yeah, and it was, uh, in fact, uh, there was a thunderstorm that just popped up. We had one hit here. All we got was rain. All right, Ron Rogers here. That's a fly. In Blakesburg, Iowa, I made it to the antique fly-in. And, oh, I was worried, you know, getting to be end of the year, it's gonna be hot. It is not hot. 
here is the Great Lakes, all securely tied down and kind of set up uh, for the evening, as it were. Um, and, oh, am I sweating. I am sweating like a pig. Now, my wife, who uh, grew up on a farm, said pigs don't actually sweat. I guess that's why they lay in mud and stuff. But anyway, it, it's a term I love. But anyway, here is the airplane, and here is some of the other airplanes here. That's the camping section over there. And this is the main section here. Now, last time I parked a lot closer. Of course, I did 3.2 miles on the treadmill yesterday, and I'm complaining about having to walk. But anyway, I'm going to grab my stuff and go towards the main enclave here. I have tons of gear here and I had a nice flight in. I've got those videos. Anyway, here is the main parking flight line. And they're featuring a certain type of steerman. I forget which one. I can kind of not see because my glasses are all covered with sweat. But uh, they're up here on the flight line. There's where you can get fuel. They have a fuel truck now. They used to not have that, so that's a great advantage. Uh, but I flew in this airport 53 years ago. I and a friend of mine were brand new pilots. We'd gotten our pilot's license through the Air Force FIP program. And uh, we found this place without GPS or anything. We just use maps, it's amazing. It can be a little hard to find from the air. All right, here we are in Galesburg. The uh, sun is setting. If you didn't land by now, it's too late. And we had a bunch of steermans come in at the very last minute. These guys are parking over here. And uh, we have a nice little pilot's pub over there, which uh, uh, is very nice. And just sitting around with various fun people. And I am learning a lot about steermans and antique aircraft. So it is absolutely cool. And uh, yes. If you saw the uh, the one about Daisy, this is the weather recall steerman, and they're featuring steermans this year, so they get to park up front. And night has fallen, so if you haven't landed, you are done. And they have a movie this evening, The Aviator. High V. I grew up in Iowa City, so High V is something I know very well. Uh, they were providing very nice catering. I had a walking taco. Uh, which, as amazing as it seems, I was not familiar with what that was, but it was very delicious. And uh, people are settling in for the night, parking the Steermans, and the hot day is concluding. It's now down to 83. It was up to 88 today, and that was quite warm, but it is cooling off nicely. And just an absolute pleasant, nice night with nice conversation and people who love old airplanes. They're expecting about 300 aircraft to show up. Uh, this is just the first day, so we'll have a lot more people coming in, but it should be interesting. And the runway crew has gone home for the evening. So that concludes the first day. Thanks very much for watching.